In the last tutorial, I used the Analysis Quick Fit Gauss menu item to fit the example of synthetic data. Now, let's look at the expanded options in the curve fitting dialog. The graph window shows a fresh graph of the fake X and fake Y synthetic data. Select the Analysis Curve Fitting menu item. This opens the curve fitting dialog. Click the Function and Data tab if it's not already selected. From the Function pop up menu, select Gauss. From the Y data pop up menu, select Fake Y. From the X data pop up menu, select Fake X. Click the Data Options tab. The Weighting and Data Mask pop up items should read None. Click the Coefficients tab. The coefficient wave should read Default, and the pop up menu should read Auto Guess. When you know that your data conform to one of Igor's standard models, the Auto Guess option will usually provide good initial guesses for the model's parameters. If you have a good estimate of what the parameter should be, you can select Manual Guess from the pop-up menu, and then enter the initial estimates next to each coefficient. Click the Output Options tab. The Destination pop-up menu should read Auto, and the Residual pop-up menu should read None. Click Do It. During the fit, you will see the Curve Fit Progress window. When the fit has converged on a solution, the window will display the final parameters. Click OK. This will print the results to the history area of the command window. Click on the command window to bring it to the front. The results will be the same as for the quick fit in the previous tutorial. As you have seen, the curve fitting dialog provides more detailed options for selecting data, models, and output formats. These are useful for fitting data when you have more than one data set to analyze or when you want to test more than one model on your data.